Hello, friends. The Bears are who we thought they were. The Bears. The Bears. I am the great Cornholio. We'll see what happens. Uh, the playoffs. Let's see, no. Sean McDonough, Jay Villas. Goats. Um, can you play a song? <laughs> Put my mic on! I'm calling both games! Oh, 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 baby. You oh. Goes down the field for Smith! Oh! He got it! Seattle. We're getting ready for Cincinnati. Welcome back to the Mike's Madness YouTube channel. We're getting back to the NCAA Men's Basketball March Madness Tournament Simulation. And we got the first day of the round of 32 on, uh, on the slate today. Uh, day two will come tomorrow, and then the Sweet 16 will start next week, and uh, all the teams that win today will move on to the Sweet 16 uh, next week, as I had uh, alluded to in the previous videos about you know the winners of today's video, uh, or in today's um, game of slate, uh, slate of games rather. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I uh, I unfortunately will not be having any play-by-play -play about the mail truck or the trash truck uh, because I'm I'm recording this downstairs uh, in the confines of my basement. So, or not my basement, but well, you you get the point. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, yeah have the 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 first day of round of 32 today, and then the uh, the the second day tomorrow. And since the the elite eight and the sweet 16. Are you know not met, not as many games as yesterday and today? Um, I will have that in in one. I'll have all the Sweet Sixteen games in one video, even though traditionally they would be on two separate days. Uh, but oh, actually for the Sweet Sixteen, I might have two different videos. I'm not too sure. Oh shoot! Sorry, I just kicked the uh, the the desk by accident. Um, but yeah, I'm not too sure what I'll do for the Sweet Sixteen. But for the Elite Eight, I know I will definitely. Uh, have them all in one video, and I believe that'll come out next Sunday. So, um, you know, kind of find filing or woo, excuse me, my goodness, I am um, following the same format um, of the NCAA tournament schedule just a week later, you know. So, with that being said, we're going to move on to the slate of games today. And, uh, oh, actually, before we get into that, uh, yesterday's Penn State-Arizona State game, uh, you may remember that it was an 85-80, or sorry, 87-85 uh, score. Penn State got the victory over the Sun Devils. Uh, I wanted to add that that game was an overtime game. That was not a, a regulation finish. Uh, so Penn State won 87-85 in overtime over Arizona State. Uh, just, you know, I thought that might be something worth adding. So... Uh, yeah, so here we go. Let's get into the slate of games today. We've got, uh, again, I, this is the same list of games that was on yesterday. Um, simple, uh, plain and simple enough as uh, we got, uh, you know, yeah, two, uh, two of uh, everything except for, do we not have two three seeds playing today? Where's, um, I guess... What's the third seed? Louisville plays tomorrow, I guess. Along with Villanova and Maryland, yeah. Because, well, wait a minute, this doesn't look... Oh, yeah, because two, or because three, two seats play today. Okay. Uh, yeah, just making sure that we had the uh, the right amount of games on the on the, on here today. Um, yeah, games that I'm looking forward to here. Uh, Michigan and Oregon, uh, Arizona, Gonzaga, uh, Cincinnati and Creighton could be a, a interesting finish. Providence, Florida State as well. Uh, really, all the games are going to be uh, close and, and interesting to see. Uh, I mean, maybe they won't all be close, but I think they'll all be interesting to see how they're going to turn out. Um, you know, never know uh, how things will turn out. So let's get into the first game of the day between the Auburn Tigers and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Auburn out of the SEC, Ohio State out of the Big Ten. Um, yeah, Auburn got the victory over North Texas on Thursday, and Ohio State got the victory over Bradley on Thursday. Um, both teams moving on to the round of 32, and the winner moves on to the Sweet 16, 
and plays the winner of Baylor and Marquette, I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. Uniforms for today, we got uh, the orange one, uh, orange alternates for Auburn with the blue, with the navy blue and white stripe down the side with their Auburn logo on the side of the shorts. And um, Auburn has the, uh, the, the, the navy blue numbering and lettering with uh, being outlined in white. And Ohio State has the white uniforms uh, with the red lettering and numbering and the red, red and gray uh, stripes on the on the shorts that uh, border border to the bottom of the of the shorts. Starting lineups for this game: Auburn going with the same lineup as they did on Thursday, as well as Ohio State. Um, you know, doing the same. Both teams are doing the same lineups. Uh, as I said, Auburn has a really strong lineup with Dowdy, McCormick, Purifoy, Okoro, and Wiley. Um, but that's not to overlook the great starting lineup as, from Ohio State as well. Uh, with Luther Muhammad, C.J. Walker, Washington, and the two Wesleyan brothers. Um, again, nothing, nothing to overlook there. But so both teams have solid starting lineups and um, solid. Uh, both teams are very solid, as you can tell. Both are you know four or five matchup, not a, uh, not a, um, not like a couple of scrubs playing, not a couple of jokes joke teams playing. Um, so two teams that are pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, both teams, uh, I believe at one point, both teams were in the top five uh, of the AP top 25. So, so you know, uh, that tells you that these teams have, um, are, are fully capable of playing well. Final score of the first game of the round of 32, and Auburn got the victory over Ohio State 76-71. And Auburn moves on to the Sweet 16, and uh, that is, so, so last year I believe they got to the Final Four, I believe, and the year before that I believe they got to the Elite Eight. So you know now they're they're starting to get to the the starting to get to the second weekend, uh, pretty uh, pretty uh, consistently. So that's good for Auburn, as uh, you know again Sweet 16 for them as they get the victory over the Buckeyes by 5 points, 76-71. Next game up between the Providence Friars and the Florida State Seminoles. Uh, the Florida State is the two seed, Providence the seven seed. Florida State got the victory over Ryder, and Providence got the victory over, um, over uh, Utah State on Thursday. Uniforms for today, Florida State going with the same uniforms as they did on Thursday, the white uh, the white home uniforms with the red lettering and numbering and the little, uh, uh, you know, seminal feather um, design down the side. And Providence going with the black away uniforms with the white striping uh, down the, uh, around the, around the neck and the, uh, around the, the shoulders and on the pants as well, on the shorts as well, with the white lettering and numbering. Starting lineups for this game. Um, Trent Forrest, MJ Walker, Vassell, Williams, and Osborne, uh, very solid lineups. And as I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, another, uh, Florida State player declared for the NBA draft. Uh, the, the one that I had in the video on Wednesday was Devin Vassell. Uh, and I believe it was, it was either MJ Walker or Trent Forrest that declared for the draft, uh, yesterday or two days ago or whenever it was. I believe it was MJ Walker, but if I'm wrong about that, correct me in the uh, in the comment section. Um, and then for Providence, again, um, you know they're a team that had uh, finished the season pretty strong, and you know had a couple convincing wins to get themselves in the field of 68, and now they're looking for a bid to the Sweet 16 for uh, for the Friars. Final score between Florida State and Providence. And Florida State edged this one out by two points. A mere two-point victory for the Seminoles as the two-seed stays strong and gets uh, moves on to the Sweet 16. And they will play the winner of Maryland and Virginia. And that game comes to you tomorrow in the second round, the second day of 
round of 32. Uh, so yeah, close game there. It could have gone either way, but Florida State comes out on top, and they move on to the Sweet 16. Next game, Cincinnati and Creighton. Uh, Cincinnati kind of going on a, a little tear here. They got past seventh-seeded uh, Illinois and looking to pull the upset over the second-seeded Creighton Blue Jays. And Creighton kind of looking to uh, – still kind of looking to prove themselves a little bit. You know, they had that uh, bad performance in the Big East tournament simulation. And, yeah, you know, uh, they've been a team that uh, down the stretch of the season, they really were playing well. But they uh, they still, you know, have, have a lot to prove because they don't have – uh, a lot of, you know, I don't I don't see them having a lot of signature wins. You know, they they are a team that is very uh, inconsistent. I mean, there was one game where, you know, they they were they were beating Villanova and they're beating Seton Hall and all these top teams in the Big East. And then the next game they went on the road to St. John's and lost by like thirty or forty. So, you know, a team that's very inconsistent. You never know what what's going on with them. So, looking to kind of uh, put any worries to rest and move on to the Sweet 16. Uh, sorry, I had a sip of coffee there. <laughs> uh, uniforms. Cincinnati going with the same ones as they did on Thursday. The red uniforms uh, with the, the you know, uh, white lettering, white numbering, all that good stuff. Uh, pretty solid uniforms. As I said, I like those. Creighton going with the uh, white uniforms with the blue lettering and numbering outlined in a thin black. And the the, the this little pattern that goes down the side of the uniforms as well that is uh, quite unique. Starting lineups between the Blue Jays and the Bearcats. Um, Denzel Mahoney is the, uh, the, the top guy for Creighton, along with Tyshawn Alexander, I believe. And for uh, Cincinnati... Um, you know, a team, uh, Cincinnati is not a team that I've really watched a lot this season, uh, so I'm not really sure who's their, who, who their uh, most solid player is. Um, but I believe uh, Cumberland is is one of their top guys as well. And uh, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not too sure. I haven't really watched a lot of Cincinnati basketball this season. Um, but with that being said, we take a look at the final score between the Bearcats and the Blue Jays. And the Bearcats win this one by three. They pull the upset over Creighton. And the 10th seeded Cincinnati Bearcats move on to the Sweet 16. And uh, there you go. Yeah, they get the win over Creighton 68-65. Can the 11th seeded Golden Gophers pull an upset as well over the 3rd seeded Kentucky Wildcats? Let's wait and find out. Uh, the Golden Gophers went on that tear in the Big the Big Ten Conference Tournament simulation. Uh, you know, uh, again, went on and, and won the Big Ten Conference Tournament in the simulation to get the automatic bid into the field of 68. They beat Duquesne in the first four on Wednesday, or, or on Tuesday, rather. Uh, and, and then they beat uh, BYU on Thursday. So, uh, and yeah, again, BYU is a good team. They were top 15 at the, the, um, towards the end of the season. And uh, now they're looking to pull the upset over the third-seeded Kentucky Wildcats, who uh, were number one for, for a, a couple weeks, uh, top 10 for, for most of the season. And, you know, a team that has a lot of talent. As you take a look at the uniforms, uh, same uniforms as Thursday for both teams, Kentucky with the the white uniforms and the checkerboard pattern down the side, and Minnesota with the crimson uniforms with the uh, the, the the gold lettering and numbering. Starting lineups for this game, and this is the talent that I was alluding to. Uh, you got Hagens, Maxi, Quickly, Montgomery, and Richards, and that doesn't even um, start to uh, start to get into. That doesn't even start to um, uh, start to break down the talent they have because their bench is really solid as well. In a guy, Johnny Juzang. Who, uh, in fact, he's uh, entered the transfer portal uh, recently. I think it was yesterday. Um, so, but again, they have some solid guys on the bench as well. So, uh, a team that they just haven't been able to quite piece it, piece uh, put the pieces together 
um, you know, a young team, and you're going to have that sometimes as everybody's trying to learn the game a little bit and uh, and and ultimately reach the same goal. You know, and, and that's the thing with these young teams, a team like Kentucky and Duke that have a lot of like one and done guys. Sure, everybody's trying to reach the same goal, winning winning a, a championship, whether it's the conference championship or the national championship. But you have to be able to work together, and you know the the chemistry. You got to gel together. You've got to, you know, again, you've got to be able to work together in order to reach that goal. Um, so you know, there's many times this season where Kentucky just hasn't been able to put the pieces together. So. Uh, maybe in the simulation they can they can do that. Um, I don't know, but uh, Minnesota has uh, Daniel Oturu, who declared for the NBA draft a couple of days ago, and Marcus Carr and Peyton Willis are pretty solid as well. Final score for this game between the Golden Gophers and the Wildcats, and in overtime the Golden Gophers pull the upset over the Wildcats. My goodness. Minnesota moves on to the Sweet 16 when a couple weeks ago it wasn't even looking like they were going to be in the field at all. So, you know, this gives me the this gives me the March Madness feel. Um, the March Madness gods are with us. Um, you know, Cincinnati moving on, a uh, double-digit seed. Minnesota, double-digit seed moving on. I mean, a first four team moving on to the uh, Sweet 16. Uh, that's That's something. As Minnesota pulls the upset 85 84 in overtime over Kentucky, and they move on to the Sweet 16 on. Nah, sorry, next week. I almost said Sunday, but that's tomorrow, and that doesn't make any sense. Um, and uh, they play the winner of. I want to say. Oh, they might be playing Florida State. No, they won't. No, they don't play Florida State. They they'll play the winner of LSU and Duke, I believe. No, that doesn't sound right. We'll get it to we'll get to it at the end. They might actually they might even be playing um, Cincinnati. I'm not sure. We'll get to it at the end of the video. Who plays who? What what matchups are going on? Again, bear with me. It's a little much to try and remember a whole um, to remember a whole. Uh, um, you know, field of 68. <laughs> remember remember who's, uh, what team is where. Next game up between the LSU Tigers and the Duke Blue Devils. The seventh seeded Tigers got the victory over UCLA on a Thursday, and uh, the Blue Devils got the win over the Boston Terriers on Thursday as well. Uniforms for this game, LSU going with the purple uniforms with the gold, uh, gold striping down the side and uh, the, the gold lettering and numbering, and Duke going with the white uniforms uh, with the blue lettering and numbering. Starting lineups for this game, we've got Trey Jones, who declared for the NBA draft a couple days ago, um, Vernon Carey Jr., Wendell Moore Jr., Delorier, and Stanley. A very solid lineup there, as Duke is looking to get to the Sweet 16, and, and even more. Uh, LSU, as I mentioned in the, in the last video, uh, Skylar May is pretty solid. Um, Javante Smart and Trendon Watford are as well are are two uh, two other guys that are pretty pretty uh, pretty good. Final score between the Tigers and the Blue Devils and another uh, upset, I guess you could say, as the Tigers pull off the victory, uh, two points the two point victory over the Blue Devils, seventy two to seventy, and. Uh, Duke not reaching the Sweet 16. You know, last year they had they had, they had lost in the Elite Eight to Michigan State, and uh, you know that that was a team that many people were thinking it was a done deal that they were going to get to the national championship game. They didn't reach the Final Four. This Duke team this year is another team that uh, has a lot of talent. Again, it's it's as just like Kentucky not being able to put the pieces together, and they don't even reach the Sweet 16. So. Uh, it's, uh, you know, something different, not something that, you know, we're used to seeing Duke not ruling the, uh, ruling the, the, the college basketball world. But again, the Tigers get the win over the Blue Devils, 72 to 70. Next game up here, Michigan and Oregon, the fifth seeded Wolverines beat 
uh, East Tennessee State and the fourth seeded Ducks beat Vermont on Thursday. Michigan going with the gold uniforms with the uh, navy blue. Uh, well, actually, it's more. Uh, they call it maize, uh, maize gold. The, the 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 gold uniforms that they have, the maize uh, yellow slash gold uniforms with the navy blue lettering and numbering outlined in white, and the Michigan logo on the side of the shorts. As Oregon goes with the white uniforms, with the uh, the 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 duck in the, on the chest and the black numbering. Starting lineups for these two teams. Uh, two solid, two very solid teams. Two teams that you know, uh, at both at one point were in the top ten. Uh, Michigan was in the top five for um, a couple weeks, and they've got Xavier Simpson, Eli Brooks, uh, Franz Wagner, Brandon Johns Jr., and John Teske. A very solid starting lineup, and their bench is pretty solid as well as they have uh, De Julius and um, uh, De Davis, um, and they also have. Uh, you know some other guys as well that are pretty solid for Michigan. As for Oregon, Peyton Pritchard leads the way, uh, and you see uh, some other guys that are pretty good there. Uh, Shakir, I don't know how to say his name, his last name, but the, the guy that starts with a J, the, his last name, Chandler Lawson and Will Richardson and uh, Anthony Mathis are the other three starters uh, for the Ducks. Final score between the Ducks and the Wolverines. And the Wolverines pull off the victory over the Ducks, seventy-five to sixty-eight. And I feel like we're getting a lot of um, a lot of the uh, higher-seeded teams winning today. I think the only uh, the only um, well, I guess lower-seeded teams. See, that's like that's like weird how how this whole thing works. Like, like when I say lower-seeded team, you would think like a low number, like one, but that's actually a highest seed so we're seeing a lot of the lower seeds like fives and sevens and tens getting victories today and even an 11 as uh the only uh the only high seed to win today was the second seeded um uh, the second seeded florida state seminoles i believe so um some some upsets are happening today and that really brings me back to uh that ma it makes it feel like march madness because you never know what's going to happen so uh, yeah, so uh, you know th th this in this round, I knew I know in uh, previous the previous two days I had been saying that uh, you know maybe the simulation wasn't the best, and I wasn't certain I wasn't uh, exactly pleased with how things were playing out. But today's video, um, I, it's I feel like it's it's better. It's better in in this in today's slate of games. I feel like it's definitely better. Next game here between the Marquette Golden Eagles and the Baylor Bears. Uniforms, Marquette going with the gold uniforms with the blue pattern down the side and the navy blue lettering and numbering. And Baylor goes with the white uniforms with the green lettering and numbering. Starting lineups between the Golden Eagles and the Bears. A uh, very strong lineup for Baylor. All five of those guys, Teague, Mitchell, Butler, Vital, and Gillespie are very solid um, you know, again, you have to have a good team if you're going to be uh, number one in the country for a few weeks like they were. Marquette, Marcus Howard, Kobe McQuain, uh, Sakir Anim, Brennan Bailey, and Theo John. Um, yeah, two very uh, talented teams going up here for a bit of the Sweet 16 uh, next week. And take a look at the final score between the Bears and the Golden Eagles. And Baylor gets the victory by three points, 80 to 77. And Baylor moves on to the Sweet 16, and they will play uh, Auburn, I believe. Yeah, they'll play Auburn in the Sweet 16. And uh, the winner of that goes on to the Elite Eight. There you go. Um, yeah, so some, uh, some, some good stuff here. Baylor gets the victory over Marquette, 80 to 77. Now, this might be, I think this is the last game of the day uh, here between Arizona and Gonzaga. Two teams. Um, Gonzaga was number one for a good, a good portion of the season. As we take a look at the uniforms, Arizona going with the red uniforms and uh, Gonzaga going with the home whites. Uh, Gonzaga was a team, as we take a look at the starting lineups, uh, Gonzaga was a team that was number one in the country for, you know, a couple, a few weeks. Uh, they did... Uh, it had some, some pretty good games. 
Uh, but uh, definitely a very good team. And Arizona was a team that started on the top 15, had a disappointing season, I guess you could say. Uh, but then they they stumbled. And like many teams have a, a, a part of the season where they have a little stumble. But, you know, that, that that's just how it is. And... Um, yeah, uh, they 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 found themselves a little bit, and we're we're getting back into the top twenty five um, a few weeks towards the end of the season. Uh, so again, as I had mentioned, they're looking to kind of you know salvage something out of this season, and getting a getting a victory in the tournament I, is is pretty satisfactory for them. I would I would think um, being the top fifteen team that they were at the beginning of the season, they may be thinking that they were going to be a five or six seed you know, maybe, uh, being a better team than they turned out to be, but, uh, just gotta work with what you got, and, uh, they're gonna go up against the Gonzaga Bulldogs, so a good matchup here, two teams out west, uh, you know, good, uh, wherever this game would have taken place, whatever neutral site, I believe there would have been a good distribution of both teams' fans, because, again, both out west are both relatively, relatively close, um, as we take a look again at the starting lineups here, uh, as I mentioned in, in the other videos, uh, Nico Mannion and Stone Gettings are, are pretty solid for Arizona, and Killian Tilly, Petrusev. I mean that that whole starting lineup for Gonzaga is is uh, is uh, is good. Sorry, I had to find myself there. Uh, yeah, the whole starting lineup is pretty good for Gonzaga, and they're looking to get the victory over Arizona to go to the Sweet 16 and. Uh, not looking to stop there as they're looking to get to the final four and possibly win this whole thing as this is a field of teams where literally anybody it's anybody's game uh there's not a clear favorite as sure you could say kansas or baylor or or dayton or gonzaga as the one seeds but that's you know who knows there are a lot of teams that could win this thing because you never again there are a lot of like marquette was close to Baylor in the simulation. Who knows? They could have knocked them off. And and who knows here? Maybe Arizona gets the victory. I don't know. Um, there's so many teams that are are. And as I said in previous in, in previous instances, these uh, you know all the teams are really grouped together. Like there's no team that stands out as oh that's the team that that's you know the favorite to win it all. There's no really team because again everybody's kind of in the same area. It's just a matter of you know. And sure, you could say, oh well, that team's won more games than like Dayton. Oh, Dayton's won more games than Virginia. But in reality, when those two teams, if those two teams would ever play, who knows? Virginia could win. It's just you know, both all these teams are you know ha have the capability of beating each other. There's no team that. Could really go undefeated and sure you could say san diego state was going undefeated for a good portion of the season good portion of the season but go ahead and take a look at their schedule who did they play they played uh you know teams in uh, they were in the mountain west conference their biggest test of the year was iowa they played a very weak schedule and that's why even when even when they were undefeated, many people were still making the argument that Dayton should have been getting the one seed over San Diego State in the projections just because Dayton had a stronger strength of schedule. Um, and, you know, I think San Diego State may not be as good as some people are, are thinking that they are. But anyway, that has nothing to do with... Um, that has nothing to do with the, the, the Arizona State... or Sorry, not Arizona State. Arizona-Gonzaga game... And we take a look at what the final score between the Wildcats and the Bulldogs was. And Gonzaga got the victory by four points, 77-73. Gonzaga moves on to the Sweet 16 as they get the victory over the Arizona Wildcats. And now that was the last game of today. And we take a look at who plays who. As uh, we had Baylor and Auburn get victories today. Um, and they'll play in the Sweet 16 next week. And uh, try, both those teams are going to kind of try to make a run for the Final Four in Atlanta. So, yeah, tune in next week to see what teams get to the uh, what teams get to the Elite Eight, as that is a Sweet Sixteen matchup. 
We have uh, Maryland and Virginia playing tomorrow, and the winner of that game will play Florida State uh, on the, in the Sweet 16. So, you know, who knows? We could have uh, either a second former ACC matchup, because Maryland's in the Big Ten now. Um, who knows? Maryland, uh, look, Maryland and Virginia, two, a rivalry there, uh, two teams that, well, Mar when Maryland was in the ACC, that was obviously an ACC matchup. Uh, so, so a former ACC matchup on tap for tomorrow. And who knows, if Maryland wins that game, we have another former ACC matchup for the Sweet 16 for the Terrapins. So, uh, yeah, winner of Virginia-Maryland, the winner of that game tomorrow, plays Florida State in the Sweet 16. We had Gonzaga win over Arizona just uh, a few moments ago, and they'll play the winner of Butler and Wisconsin. So we might get a Bulldogs Bulldogs Sweet 16 matchup um, if Butler gets the win uh, over Wisconsin tomorrow. Um, but uh, yeah, the the winner of Butler Wisconsin will take on Gonzaga in the Sweet 16, and uh, yeah, again the winner of Butler and Wisconsin looking to knock off Gonzaga uh, and, and and get it and make it to the Elite Eight and who knows maybe even the Final Four as uh, as we still have um, you know a couple of games to be played tomorrow another another the other half of the round of 32 to be played tomorrow we uh, saw an upset in this bracket here between Minnesota and um, and Kentucky Minnesota knocked off Kentucky in overtime by a point, and they'll play the winner of Florida and San Diego State. Uh, the, San Diego State and Florida play tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, the winner plays Minnesota in the Sweet 16. And, um, you know, uh, three teams there between Minnesota, Florida, and San Diego State. Three teams looking to make the Sweet 16, or, sorry, looking to make the Elite Eight that, uh, that may not have otherwise... You know, you may not have really guessed that they would have made the Elite Eight. You know, again, as I mentioned a, a little bit ago, San Diego State did not have the uh, the best strength of schedule, really. So many, many people may have been predicting that they wouldn't even make it to, the, you know, that they wouldn't make it to the Final Four or Elite Eight or what have you. So, again, winner of Florida and San Diego State will play Minnesota next week in the Sweet 16. We had Michigan get the victory over Oregon earlier today, and they'll play the winner of Colorado and Dayton. And as I mentioned yesterday, Colorado and Dayton is a rematch of um, a, a, a game earlier in the season uh, when they played in one of those midseason tournaments. Um, and uh, Colorado got the victory in overtime. And... Uh, yeah, so a rematch of that game, and we'll see what happens there. And the winner of that game tomorrow takes on Michigan in the Sweet 16 next week. We had LSU pull the upset victory over Duke, and they'll play the winner of Penn State and Villanova. Uh, the Nittany Lions and the Wildcats play tomorrow in the round in the second day of round of 32. And uh, the, the, the winner there goes to the Sweet 16 and will play LSU for a bid to the Elite Eight. We had Cincinnati pull off the upset victory over Creighton earlier today. And they'll play the winner of USC and Louisville as the Trojans and the Cardinals will face off to in tomorrow's uh, slate of games. And the winner plays Cincinnati in the Sweet 16 next week. Taking a look at games tomorrow, as uh, we just kind of um, talked about, and um, we have, I think there's more games here, yeah. All right, so we've got, again, a, a really good slate of games. Uh, USC, Louisville could be close, Virginia, Maryland, Houston and Kansas, Butler and Wisconsin, Penn State and Villanova, Colorado, Dayton, Seton Hall, Michigan State, and Florida and San Diego State. And uh, yeah, really solid slate of games there. Um, tune in tomorrow to check that out because you don't, you will not want to miss uh, the results of those games and, uh, and, and how that affects the field of, uh, of the Sweet 16. But again, a really good slate of games tomorrow. Uh, you didn't see Houston, Kansas, Seton Hall, Michigan State in that, in the, in the bracket matchups 
in, in the previous couple slides because uh, because those teams, the winner of Houston, Kansas, plays the winner of Seton Hall, Michigan State. So there's no need to put that in there as that will come in tomorrow's video. So that brings us to the end of the first day in the round of 32, the second round of the tournament simulation. So I thank you for watching the video or listening. Um, if you did enjoy, a thumbs up would be great. Subscribe for more content on the Mike's Madness YouTube channel and uh, comment down below what you'd like to see on the, on the channel. Uh, comment uh, thoughts, takes, questions, uh, again, what you would like to see on this, YouTube, on this channel in the future. And uh, my, my goal for this, I, I don't, I, see here's the thing, I can't really set goals for, for videos because I'm just starting out on, on YouTube. Not many people are watching, which is fine. I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. Uh, but I'm, I'm starting to get some, a, a decent amount of views for, I mean, what I define decent as, I don't know, what, more than five, It whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, as I said, I'm not looking to get the most views. I'm just doing this because I have fun doing it. And, you know, if people, if other people enjoy it as well, then okay, cool. Um, so uh, that, that's my little spiel there. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, and comment. And other than that, I'll be back in the next video. I'm out.